All right, sorry about that. My husband called and he's on his way home from work, so I just wanted to talk to him for a few minutes. And while I was talking to him, I got this covered with that lace. So I think it's gonna look really cute here. And then I have these little wood pieces that I wanna use for the bottom, like this. That'll be neat. Oh, there you are, right? So it'll be elevated. So in order for me to get this on here, I need to not attach it to the doors because you want to make sure the doors are accessible. Otherwise, what's the point? See, now it's getting caught on that. So, hmm. If I did that here, see, it messes with the closure. Hmm. This is my dilemma. I certainly don't want it like this. It kind of defeats the whole point of the watch. Let me think here. I'm thinking that I could add a piece at the t at the top of this that will make it stick out a little bit. that maybe this foam piece and I picked up this foam piece at Hobby Lobby and if I cut it the width of the box and then cover it with this it'll give me something to attach it to so I think that's what I'm gonna do So let me measure this. All right, so it's seven and three quarters by oh, you hate when it's like right there in the middle of one of the sixteenth. I think one and a half will be fine. All right, so get that cut. I'm going to measure twice. As they always say, measure twice, cut once, right? Seven and three quarters. this here on the edge
Okay, I'm gonna glue this. To this piece of foam. Since this is going to be the inside piece, it won't be that big of a deal. Let me cut this extra. Whoops. Seriously, I had the heater on last week, and then this today I had the I had to put the air air on to get some air circulating in this place. I'm just gluing that in there. So yeah, the expo is gonna be fun, but I was really kind of bummed that you have to pay $150 just to have electricity at the expo, which seems super silly to me, but shouldn't that be the part of the $35 fee that you're using their table for? That seems kind of outrageous. Get all this extra bulk off a little bit here. This, this would be bulky too. All right, so because this is going to be the part that I'm, you know, gluing on here, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. I just want the ends to look decent. So, uh, <laughs> it was so funny, Doreen and I stayed up till like two in the morning, <clears throat> crafting our little life away, our little hearts away, I should say, not life away. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had a lot of fun. We giggle a lot. Okay, so... I am hoping this is going to give me something to adhere my little thing to. Yeah, we will see. Okay, so I just put some um, glue on some glue gun. I glued it together. And with the fabric, it's going to... I think it here just fine. And then I was going to put this like this and have like that right there. Isn't that going to be cute? I'm going to leave that alone for a minute. Now that this is dry, 
I wanted to add a little bit more to the outside. So I have these bow bunny stencils. I wanted to add, I think, some lace. I think that'll be pretty on there. Some dimension of lace on there. And what's really cool about these bow bunny stencils is that they're stickable. So you can, you know, reuse they, they stick like that, so they don't slide when you're putting on the, the paste, which I love. I think that's so cool. All right, so um, all right, I'm gonna put some more of the crackle paste on there. Come up here. And once you, um, when you rinse them off, the sticky doesn't go away. It just adheres right back. It's kind of like a vinyl or something. It goes right back onto the plastic that it came on, which is so cool. Okay, so if you hear any like yelling in the background, like screaming or anything, <laughs> my son is on like his Xbox Live thing or whatever with his friends and he gets quite animated actually. <laughs> All right, let's see. We'll put some over here. Just cleaning off the edge a little bit. Okay. Doesn't barely use any of that 
texture base at all. Okay, so I didn't really use that much of this stuff. A little bit there, maybe a little bit here. I love it because it's because it sticks, it makes it so easy to work with the stencil. Okay, so I'm going to go wash my stencil off real quick and I'll be right back because I like to clean my stuff right away. Okay, so I'm I had to um you know make dinner and stuff like that, so I kind of came back and decided to do a little bit of things here and there. And so I ended up taking a little bit of my South Shore Sand flat Fabio and no not that one, the steampunk sepia starburst and i just kind of you know rubbed it over the words and stuff that way you could actually you know see see them a little bit better um you know because i wanted some texture on the front so anyway then i decided i was going to go ahead and with the same fabric that I used to cover this, I decided I was going to cover the bottom of the box and all the way up to the side um, to kind of soften it a little bit. So I'm just about finishing up here. And I just want to show you, you know, that I was just gluing it on. So I was just kind of gluing, gluing it here and there. Trying not to get too much glue on the parts that have like the mesh because then you see the glue and it looks kind of ugly. So I didn't cut it perfect or anything, but I kind of was, you know, trimming it afterwards. Because I plan on putting a piece of, you know, layering the sides here with some other laces so it doesn't have to be although I don't think anything is going to be perfect when it comes to crafting I'm be too close to, sorry about that
sorry about that. So I'm just kind of trim that off there. The nice thing about this fabric is that it's very forgiving and it's stretchy. So, it doesn't always have to be perfect. So, so we have bits. Alright, so now we are kind of at a Here we got the bottom covered, and I was going to um, use these on the bottom, so that'll give it something nice to stick to. Whoops! I have to paint those and stuff. So I was thinking that I would really like to add some laces and I have some laces here Let me try to lift up on this a little bit okay so I have this really cute little applique that I was just digging through my, some of my trims and I was like oh this is perfect right here so I am going to attach this in the middle. Because it just looks adorable. And it brings out the pink. These um, sequins are so pretty. So you can see I'm just gluing the areas that you can't see through because the glue to show through if I can help it. So pretty. All right. 
So that's going to look cute right there. You're going to be able to see that. I hope it doesn't mess with the... I'm thinking I might have to build up on this so that I can actually add it and it's not going to interfere, right? Because I really want that to show. 